Hi, this is Tom from Blue Dot, and today we're going to review the HTC Thunderbolt for Verizon Wireless. Uh, this is a 4G device, so um, if you're not familiar with uh, 4G for Verizon, those are some of the only phones on Verizon where you will need a SIM card, and it's a special SIM card. It doesn't look anything like uh, the AT&T SIM card, it's much smaller, um, but in any case, uh, if you do get a used device, without a SIM card and this is your first 4G device, um, go into an official Verizon store and they should give you a SIM card for free. And I stress that it has to be a legit Verizon store, not a place that deals with Verizon devices. Um, those places may charge you for the SIM card. Uh, also if you go online and use Verizon they may charge you for the SIM card. I would just suggest walking into an official Verizon store and they should set it up for you for free. Um, I know that from personal experience, so just give it a try. Um, Alright, so upon first holding this device, it has a bit of heft to it. Uh, that is pretty um, common for HTC phones, um, and I, I kind of like that about them. They're much heavier, they feel like they can take more of a beating. Um, up top we have the speaker, down here we have the option keys that are pretty familiar for most Android devices, the home menu, back, and search. Uh, the microphone is hidden in there somewhere. Or actually, no, it's right here uh, underneath. Uh, on the left, we have the USB micro charge port. On the back, we have the camera, the flash, and the cool little neat feature on these phones is a kickstand, so you can actually have it set up like that and watch Netflix or YouTube. On the right, we have the volume rocker. And up top we have the power button and the headphone jack. Alright, so let's turn this on and take a look at the screen. Alright, it's going to give me a warning about not having a SIM card, but luckily it doesn't stop me from using the rest of the phone. Alright, and right away we see a really beautiful screen. Um, HTC's screens for the past year, year and a half have really, you know, been pushing the envelope. Probably competing with Samsung's uh, Super AMOLED uh, screens that are always bright and vibrant. Uh, this screen is almost as good. The screen is 800 by 480 pixels, so it's uh, about as good as the Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, the screen is pretty big. You can operate most things in one hand, but it's one of those devices that it's much better to use two. Um, so if you want a phone that's going to fit in one hand and use one hand, this might not be the phone for you, but if you're up for a heftier device where you can almost do that, uh, but definitely use two hands to operate it and aren't bothered by that, uh, this phone is perfect. This has Snapdragon, so it's pretty quick um, with processes and games and stuff like that. It has 8 gigabytes of internal storage. It's expendable by uh, 32 gigs. Um, the micro SD card slot is under the battery, which is kind of inconvenient. I, I really am bothered by phones that keep doing that. Um, but regardless, I mean, you're not going to be taking that out very much anyway. But yeah, it's underneath the, the battery on the back here. Now this is a 4G device, um, so it's going to be super fast. Verizon's 4G is known to be uh, one of the fastest 4G networks out there. Um, now it's 4G LTE, which is very important if you're getting a phone. Um, I think all the new ones uh, have LTE next to the name, but some of them just say 4G. Um, if it doesn't say LTE at the end, it might not be true 4G. Um, LTE is the official name for the fourth generation speeds, um, which just continuously get kind of faster as time goes on as they advance it. Um, but just like I said before, um, almost all Verizon phones that use 4G LTE will use SIM cards. Now that's not to say that this phone will work on GSM, it will not, it is only a CDMA phone. Um, but there is a GSM equivalent out there that is uh, pretty close to this uh, for HTC. Now we're going to take a look at the camera. All right, and it has a pretty clear picture. Um, it has all the options on the right, which is a little bit change of pace from other phones. Sometimes they're usually always on the left. So let's take a look at uh, what we have over here. We have the flash option here. This is for when you're going to take a picture. This is a uh, little editing tools, kind of like Instagram, but more modern, I guess. Uh, so yeah, you got some weird pixelation up there. 
uh, some negative solarization, aqua, whatever that is. Um, down below is just going to be looking at what's on your SD card. And if you want more options, you just press menu over here and it'll give you more fine tuning when you're going to be taking your pictures. Widescreen, ISO, the resolution, uh, everything like that. So let's check out the video. All right, and video is pretty close to the same. Um, it's going to have the same effects over to the left as the other one. Um, well, a little bit cut down, but mostly almost all the same. And going to menu, you're giving more options. And this does shoot in HD. It shoots in 720p HD, uh, which is not um, 1080p, but it's still a pretty good picture uh, for a phone. So let's do let's do 720. Let's just do a quick recording. And we're just going to look around where we're at. All right. Now, after you record, it gives you a couple options over here. And it only comes up for a few seconds, but you can change that in the options for it to be there much longer. So let's find it in our SD card here. All right, so let's check out the video that's on our SD card here. Look around where we're at. All right. All right, and it has a pretty good picture, pretty decent. You have uh, some options, too, attached to it. Um, you can select it as a favorite. Um, you can also share it. Um, delete it and such and so forth. Let's just delete that off our phone. All right, now let's check out text messaging. So we're going to hit that right here. Going to make a new one. Come on, there we go. Uh, it's a pretty decent keyboard. I mean, if you don't like this keyboard, uh, the cool thing about Android devices is you can always download a completely different keyboard if you don't like this one. Um, if you want to get to symbols up top or numbers, you have to hold down on the keys that have those corresponding number or symbol above it, and you can select different things on it. Or you can go down here to the one, two hashtag, and you have all these other options. In fact, there's two pages worth. The screen is pretty responsive. It's bright, beautiful. Um, if you want a phone with some power behind it, a little more heft uh, to it, and a nice big screen, the HTC Thunderbolt is perfect for you. It is a 4G device, so if you are on a 3G plan, you have to go into Verizon to get a 4G plan um, and a SIM card. Uh, just remember, if you're going to buy this phone used, you have to go into a Verizon store and get a SIM card for it. Uh, my name is Tom from the Blue Dot. Thanks for watching.